Welcome to TC Boxing Association with IFL TV and MGM Marbella. Here with me I have Paul Lindy on his first win, on his pro debut on the Gil Fletcher undercard. Congratulations Paul. Thank you. Explosive fight out there. Yep. We saw uh, three, three knockdowns total. Yeah, three knockdowns. Uh, four round fight. Yeah. Um, talk us through how, how it went out there, first time in the pro ranks. Yep. Um, he was a bit awkward, but um, I established the fight with my jab. I kept on jabbing him every time I come in. I would feed him my jab and um, he caught me with, in round two, I think it was, with a knockdown. But um, that was my fault. I wasn't concentrating. I should, be, I should have had 100% on him. I wasn't concentrating. That won't happen again. And um, yeah, I was just should have thrown my right hand a bit more. He was there for the right hand, for the taking. But um, yeah. Yeah, when I did throw it, um, I caught him. Absolutely, so, devastating finish there was, and um, obviously I won't be able to catch up with that punch. What does that mean for you going into the next year? What's your plan for 2015? Um, just get the ball rolling, get more fights in my belt, get build up the ring, the ring experience, and see how I do. You know, um, I need the, I need more fights, more challenging fights. So that was a good, good start for my debut. I was annoyed about the knockdown, but um, hey, it's a learning curve. You know, get back on the bike and see how we go for my next fight. Absolutely, I'm going to see a London boy take over the, uh, the Aussie ranks out here. Uh, no, I'll sort of represent both countries, you know. <laughs> yeah. Love Australia, love England, it's my home, you know, Chelsea supporter. Got, got to represent. We'll talk less about the Chelsea bit. We look well, uh, mate. We look forward to seeing you in 2015. Uh, Wish you all the best. We'll catch up with you later. All right, thanks, Paul. Thanks. Thanks.